and welcome to another episode of Redcraft Reborn. I'm Duck Hunter One, and I'm stood here next to my little friend here. Still yet to give him a name. If you guys know of a name that I could give him and his little child next to him, let me know in the comments below. Well, we've not done really that much while I've been off. I let's get into right view. So I did a couple of armor stands, and let's get to them. These are only markers. We've got Clementine in the corner there. A little cave, a little child sitting in the corner. Got a nice little ship builder here. I really need to get heads and everything for these. But we are getting there. We've got Wally that's welcoming everyone. And we've got the candies. Candy, the sweet shop owner, waiting here for the new sweet shop that's going to go in here. Or, well, I say sweet shop. Um, maybe a honey store. For honey blocks and things like that. So that is probably what we're going to be doing today. We've got a couple of farms that we need to actually do. One of them's pretty easy. One of them's fairly easy but may take some time to do. So you may notice we are down in our bamboo farm area. But there's a new door that's here. Or a couple of new doors should I say. So if we go through here. We've got to make sure it's shut afterwards. We have a bee farm. Uh, this is for this is our bee breeding area. But I've been gathering a few bees. And we've got quite a few here. And we've got some beehives to replace them. So I know that Dark has been asking me for some bees. So I've actually got him some sorted. And we are going to use these for our bee farm. Which is going to be through here. I have cleared out a little area for us to work in. And this is where it's going to go. I want to make up a few bee related stuff like um, honey bottles, the honeycomb, and the honey blocks. So I may be using some crafters for this, plus some old school type of machinery. The redstone is pretty easy, everyone knows what they're like, so I'm just going to get on and build it. No stupid time lapses this time. I know that on the last episode it was mostly time lapses, so I don't want to really do that. But I am going to get this build up and running for you guys, so you can see exactly where we're at. I've got to plan it out and see where we're going, because I've got to fit a crafter in here somewhere. Maybe some water shoots and things like that, so... I will come back when I've got this built and we will see how we get on. Right, so we have been a little bit busy making a couple of farms here. We've got one set up for honeycombs, which seem to produce enough for what I need. And then I've got two lots for honey itself. They do seem to be sleeping at the moment. Can I sleep? Yes, I can sleep. So you can see everyone come out at, when it goes daytime. There we go. We have absolutely tons of bees. I've been breeding them up next door. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. So the minecarts go around collecting all the drops and chucking them into this little mini sorter system I've got here. You've got honeycombs in this one. You've got honey bottles in this one. And they do actually go down. There's a way to get down, I swear, but... Underneath here, there is a crafter system. Sort of system that pushes them into the stream, throws them over the top down here. And then you've got a crafter system here that makes them into actual honey blocks. Which is that one there. And that's where they come. Unfortunately, I do get the odd bit of sugar. But that's fine, because I can use that for later on anyway. Potions and whatnot. But I do have to switch this on so it gets all clicky. But yes, you can see the honey bottles going over the top there. I have been leaving it going for a while, so they do in fact go in there. So if we look down here, you can see it's making honey blocks and they're going into there. So all I'll need to do eventually is do some kind of system to move the glass bottles back up there. But that's all good. We can do that later on. No issues there at all. Chucked a few bits of honey around just to lighten the place up a bit. But we do have quite a bit so far. So we are working on this slowly. Next step 
is something else entirely. Um, I've got to make some mud. I want some mud for some of my builds outside, which I want to sort out some bits on this video so we can actually see what's going on. Coming up here, just want to show you what we want to get done. So up here, yes, we've got that system going up there. I need a lot more iron, so I may have to come up with a deal with Dark for that. But I want to start building up some levels to put houses in. But I don't think the grass will look that great with it. So I'm going to get some mud blocks and some patch mud and things like that and build them up. Make little structures, hopefully. Maybe not today, but we can actually build up the areas that the houses are going to be on. So that's my next thing to do. Come up with a mud farm. I know there's a lot of um, things on YouTube about it, so I may have to go and have a look through there and see what we can find. But I do have a lot of dirt that I can convert into the mud. That's from when I dug everything out for the river. So, as you can see, I'm slowly turning these back into copper and then getting some honey on them. Honey comes on them to keep them copper. I've already done it to my doors. Apparently. How did I do that? Did I just take wax off it? I did not you know you could take wax off. Okay. That's a bit strange. That's fine, it's all fine. So we will be FK in a bit in here to build up our honey. Because we do need a lot more. There ain't much honeycomb down here. But I have started building up a shop to put all this stuff in. Which will look really... Well, it will look something. It's down on my waterfront. And then... Yeah, so... Next part we need to do is have an area for our mud farm. So I've got to figure out which way to go. I think I may go that way. I'm not sure what's actually under there, so I'll have to have a look. It's either going to be that way or that way. It may even be that way, because I know there's lots of room down there. So at this point, I had a message off to outside. Uh, he wanted me to go meet him in the end. So we're going to go and do a bit of end raiding, I believe, and whatever else we got to do there. Let's do this. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, Vino. Get your finger out. Come on. <laughs> I'm doing it. Got them all. Oh, hey. First the worst. Ah. Uh -oh. Welcome to the end. <laughs> oh, like there's, always, there's always someone who has to brag, isn't there? <laughs> well, I got better blocks than you. Look at you with your bamboo blocks. I'll give you some. <laughs>
Okay, so after that little escapade to the end to get our elytra, which I have now got on me, it's I love a good elytra. We have been doing some work inside the little cavern that we just dug out as well. So if we go in here, I've just stuck up some walls, ceiling lights, and I've just chucked this down. This is a well, you could call it a mud generator. It's also used for concrete as well, so it's quite good. It's only a small one, so it'll only put out, I think it's 64 blocks at a time before I have to mine them all up again. But that's fine. That's a stack every time. So it doesn't take too long to actually make these. So what I'm going to do is FK here and make up. I've got quite a few dirt blocks to um, change into the mud. But yeah, so... I'm going to quickly do that because I need the. Okay, so this bit is actually really boring. It's just me placing blocks. So why don't we ramp this up a bit and speed all the way through and get out the other end as quickly as possible. Right, so we have got some shulkers full of mud, but I want to make like patch mud, but unfortunately, I don't have any wheat at all. Like nothing here. I really need to get a better system sorted for salt and stuff. Yeah, I don't have any here at all. Um. And the little bit I do have is, yeah, it's not even worth breaking up. Um, but I do know someone who has got some. And that would be dark. So I think I'm going to go and have a rob of his farm. I'm sure he won't mind. I know he's AFK, but... Yes, we've got to start building up areas where we're building our houses and huts and whatnot. So let's have a look at what we've got. So I do want something over this side. So a nice house sort of up here. So let's get our materials out. And we can plan something out and then go from there, I think. So kind of, oh, I love that sound. Right, so if we build up here, so. Trying to get that shape right. So we know where we're going. Right, so something along them lines, but we need it to go upwards. So well, that sort of height. Don't worry, it isn't going to stay like this. We'll put other blocks into the mix as well.
Okay, so we've got a height and a shape. Yeah, it's obviously a bit yucky, but uh, once we get a few bits and pieces in here. We'll fill it out a bit more. Okay, so we have built up this little area here. It's not too much, but it's coming along. Once we get some snow down here, it'll blend in a lot better, and I'll end up filling some of this area in as well. But I have an idea for a house I want to build up there. So I am going to go get the blocks together and we will see what we can get done. So we have built a little log cabin or what seems to be one. I'm not very good at these types of builds and I'm, I'm not that good at building altogether, but I gave it a try. I'm not showing the inside on purpose because I haven't actually done the inside. But as you can see, it's not too bad. It fits in quite nicely with the surroundings. I've still got a little bit more work to do at the front there. Just behind me there. But yeah, it's come along well. Hopefully it won't spawn too many mobs. But yeah, once we get some arm stands in there so it looks like it's actually been used and get all the interior done, it'll look pretty good. I'm hoping I will get at least one of these done per week around here because I want some going around the outside there. So it actually looks inhabited around here. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm so happy. Hopefully um, the time lapse weren't that bad for you. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would. But yeah, so I guess that's it for this week. Um, I don't think there's anything else left to do or to say. I think we got 
dark side that's kind of just hiding below me. He is there. Yeah, you can just see his name tag behind us. He's AFKing down at my, um, I think it's my honey farm because he's in desperate need of honey. But yes, that is all for this week. Hopefully I should have some good plans for next week. I do have some good plans for next week. I'm just not sure what they are yet. Stupid. Okay, so I guess that's it. Make sure you like and subscribe. It's always worthwhile doing it. It helps us out and helps content creators. Technically, I do have memberships, but I really don't care about them. If you want to help out, you can do the like 99p or something along them lines. But yeah, so that's it. And I guess I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.